Yo, who we here with? I'm smoking politics with Joe Bunny, man. I bet. So we Bunny lit. Out, man. Yeah. Subscribe, hit the bell, I all that. Oh, you know that shit. Uh. YouTube, 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 man. Good morning. Good morning, world. Good afternoon, world. Good evening, good night in some parts of the world. It's your boy, I'm him, Joe Bunny, with episode six of Smoking Politics with Me Vlog. Um, Hope you guys are having a blessed morning, afternoon, evening, and night, wherever you are in this beautiful world of ours. Um, I hope you subscribe, hit that bell. Um, let the ads play, please, if you can. Watch this video to its full entirety, if you can. Let's engage and discuss what we're gonna speak about this morning in the comments as well. Today, this morning is gonna be, you know, um, so, my bad, I almost forgot. So everybody grab your bongs, your vapes, your backwoods, your Swisher Sweets, your Dutchess, your Swiss, um, whatever is your pleasure, and come smoking politics with me, man. All right, let's get this shit rolling. So, what I wanna, I wanna speak about a few things. You know, first and foremost, um, I wanna speak about something real quick. How, um, I don't, I don't know. I'm sure, you know, you know, the men out there that you know know their worth and love themselves and know that they are um, good, high quality men out there. They think like this. Um, when an attractive woman devalues herself and becomes unattractive, when she does some weird, foul shit. Now, so let's say for instance, if you're dating a really attractive woman, right? And, you know, she leaves you for somebody that's lower than you. I mean, when it comes morally, goals, ambition, principles, you know, and standing on business. It don't matter if the dude um, is getting uh, more money than you at the time because they on some weird shit. Because all that shit goes out the window. You know, I'm, you know how many fucking weird ass dudes out there that got money? That shit don't mean nothing. So when a woman, when an attractive woman leaves you for that type of individual, to me, for one, there's no coming back. That shit's done to me, right? For two, that woman is no longer attractive to me, you know? To me, you know what I mean? Looking out of my eyes, she is not attractive to me anymore. Um, she definitely lost value, hella value, you know? And it says everything about her, you know what I'm saying? Um, I don't know, you know, like I said before, you know, on um, one of my nightcaps when I was talk, speaking about relationships, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna get into that in a little bit after this. But look, it's not always about looks. Like, obviously there has to be an attraction there, right? There has to be something to catch the person's eye. And it works both ways for men and women. You know what I mean? But when it all boils down to, it all boils down to character. How, how the person thinks. How the, how, the person, how the person stands morally and on principles and how they heart is, you know what I mean? How they soul is, you know what I'm saying? That's what really matters to me. And then, you know, for the youth, as you get older, you, you, you'll you start to value stuff like that, then just go off looks. Because, you know, been there, done that. I was 19, 20 once, you know what I'm saying? 19, 21, 22, you know what I mean? Oh, um, I get it, but when a woman does that, leaves a good, high-quality man for a type of dude that I just explained earlier, um, that right there is a, that right there speaks volumes. You know, it says a lot about, you know, her, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, I'm not trying to sit here and bash women and I, I'm not, I don't get down like that and I'm not bashing the women that do this they just don't know any better you know what I'm saying they have a lot of growing up to do um and obviously 
they 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 like and they love being treated like shit. You know, getting hands and feet put on them, whatever the case may be. You know what I'm saying? And the end fellas and the end king and the end brother, they're gonna feel it. I highly recommend don't ever, ever go back for one. Because if you go back, you're just gonna look dizzy as shit. And that's just gonna say everything about you, that you don't love yourself, you don't respect yourself, and you don't know your own worth. Yeah. Now, I want I know I spoke, but a lot of people haven't probably seen this. It was a few months ago on my live, on my nightcap, check that out, when I was speaking about relationships. And the research that I've done, right, there's levels to this shit, right? So say that, you know, fellas, I'm talking to the fellas right here. Say that if you're a three or a four on the scale, and I'm not talking about looks, I'm talking about lifestyle-wise, um, energy-wise, communication-wise, and social-wise. You know what I mean? Um, what do you think you're gonna attract? And then especially if you don't got nothing going for yourself for real. You have no goals, no ambition. You're standing around, you're laying around, you're standing in front of a deli or a liquor store on the block. You think you're gonna attract a woman that's in the eight, nine, 10 category? And I'm not talking about looks. I'm talking about a woman, women that got a lot going for themselves. You know, women that, um, whatchamacallit, uh, know their worth, own businesses, you know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. So, do you think that you're gonna be able to pull something like that when you're a four? There's no way. You have to build yourself up on the scale. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Energy-wise, communication-wise, social-wise, and um, what, other, what was the other one? Compatibility and all that stuff. You have to get your, you have to fix yourself. You know, you want better, you want to attract better, you have to do better, you know? And you don't attract what you want. You attract what you are in most cases. So, fellas, keep that in mind. You know what I'm saying? You want a, a woman that's successful and doing things and a good top tier woman, and I'm not talking about looks, you know? Because you know how many top tier looking women that are out there and they don't got nothing to offer a man but what's been between their legs? Shit is wicked out here. So, build yourself up, fella. Like, brother, king. Build yourself up. Separate yourself. Build yourself up. Get your body right. Get your mind right. Read. Grind. Stack. You know what I mean? And then you're going to go from a four. Before you know it, you'll be a seven, eight, nine, ten. And guess what? You're gonna be attracting eight, nines, and tens. You know, these are facts, proven facts. And to go back a little bit to what I said, what I spoke about earlier, do not go back to her. If she left you for somebody that is beneath you, morally, principles, goals, and ambition, that says everything about her. You know what I mean? Do not go back. I don't care what the situation is. We're right. You know what I'm saying? Okay, no, do not do that. Because ain't nobody gonna ever take you serious. And you know who especially is not gonna take you serious? The person you look, the person that you see in the mirror every day, every night. They're not gonna take you serious. And if you don't take yourself serious, how is anybody else gonna take, how do you expect anybody else to take you serious? It's levels to this shit, man. So, it's not gonna be too long, you know? I'm just here keeping my word. Um, tune in tonight, Nightcap with friends. Um, I don't know if I'll be interviewing Ice BZ. I wanted to apologize about last night. Um, he had some stuff going on. Um, but uh, that live is up there nonetheless. Um, but tonight, you know, I'm gonna I'm speak about more mental health tonight on the on the podcast tonight of the Nightcat with friends, 10:30 p.m. Eastern, 9:30 p.m. Central, 7:30 p.m. Pacific. Tap in with that tonight. Um, 
And I'm gonna have some friends on there, man. We gonna we gonna we gonna shoot the shit. We gonna talk about mental health. We gonna talk about uh, drug abuse, relationships, and I'm gonna touch more on what I spoke about this morning, tonight, with the fellas. So, love yourself, love each other, respect yourself, know your worth. That way, you can love others accordingly, man. Separate yourself from those that don't deserve your energy, and that includes family. I cannot stress that enough. And um, yeah. Subscribe, hit that bell. I will not disappoint, man. Um, share this. Uh, I need YouTube to p keep pushing me back out in the algorithm, man. Yeah, man. It's your boy. I'm him, Giovanni. This is episode. This has been episode six of Smoking Politic with Me Vlogs. Blessings to everybody, man. Blessings, blessings. Be safe out there. Peace. On hood. Shout out Smoking Politic with me, with Giovanni. On hood. Everybody tap in with Cud. Cud not a custer, and Cud do a thing. And I'm going to go ahead and keep it 50 fast straight. Even if I still was in prison, I would have loop and videos in so I could tap in with Cud. Can I keep it 50 fast straight? On 50 fast straight. I don't lose. <laughs>